Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Safe Mama, letssafemama.com, and tonight we are testing things that we know are very high in lead to see whether or not they test positive with the Reactive Agent Home Test Kit. The Home Test Kits are really designed for testing for lead and paint. They work well in that, for, in that application. They aren't designed for testing consumer goods, but some consumer goods are painted with lead paint, and so they might react better than other consumer goods. This particular bear, and I'm gonna to read to you from my website, uh, it's a 1983 Pizza Hut Care Bear glass, and it is positive for 115,900 parts per million lead on the tummy. So we're um, all sorry. So we're all of the fast food chains doing that? It, yes, apparently. I didn't realize. Something. It also is positive for 4,297 parts per million cadmium, which is equally toxic. It's a, a carcinogen, but over 100,000, 10 percent lead in the paint, and um, you know, it says Pizza Hut on the back. The thing about this get, uh, just the zoom in. Mm -hmm. is when you touch it, you can feel it. It's raised, all right? So that's a, especially if it's vintage and it's raised and it's a decal type, that's a really good indicator that it's lit. And I expect this is going to light up, so we're going to see. But the way this um, kit works is you shine the... Um, black light on it and I, I, uh, if it has any green that's an interference um, or if there's little bits of blue it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that there's lead and then when you spray the kit you can turn the light off turn the light off spray the kit here on the paint and let it sit for a second and then Oh, this happened on the Ikea one. It turned it orange. You see it, how it's turning it orange? Mm -hmm. Is just... that from density of crystals? It's the crystals. That? It forms a leaded crystal. So check this out. This is going to be nuts. Is it green? It's green. It's an evil Care Bear. Wow, look at the rainbow. It just turns all green. <laughs> That's what 100,000 parts per million lead, 115,000 in paint looks like using this reactive agent kit these are incredibly toxic terrifying and the main reason they're toxic um here just for fun i also want to do the back part hold on one second i mean is it, do i need to anything shot wise avi that you want to get i can get a rotate so you can get directly in on that one face um okay so i was gonna say um it'd be interesting to test the um the white um because that looks a little innocuous but um and wow. it lights up really well lights up green not as much interference as the pink but we're gonna go back to the pink side Ooh, that's the drips just all lead yeah. It's all lead. I mean, we could kind of fun see how glowing we can get it. It's interesting to see how the glowing is the sh is shifting a bit. Um, in terms of like, here's where it drips down. And when it drips down versus the spray, it tends to have a more concentrated glow. Since we've already ruined this darling Care Bear, let's put a whole bunch of the solution here just for fun. And... This is the reactive agent kit from the Netherlands. You don't need to use this much of it, but it's like some scary nightmare Care Bear. Like a zombie. Zombie scary nightmare rainbow. Um, just really outrageously high lead. It's crazy. Um, okay, so when... And like, and just looking at that, I don't know if you can cut this together with an image of what it looked like in, before, but that's all just the buildup of the of the crystal layer forms. It it all turned orange. This happened on the blue and white IKEA glass. I'll put that in the links. We're sharing this video on YouTube and on Instagram. And in the YouTube version of the video, you can find the links to this original article with the test results for this particular product. These articles are really helpful if you're trying to convince someone that they're. Uh, item is toxic and they shouldn't use it uh, because it's a trusted source. I'm a partner with Consumer Reports Magazine. You can get the lettering on the other side. Um, yeah. And 
you know, I've, I've won a couple of awards from the federal government and, mm. um, and I use all sorts of different science-based technology to test things for toxicants, including lead, <laughs> cadmium, mercury, and arsenic. Okay. What are you it laughing says, about? Enjoy, enjoy the lead. <laughs> enjoy your lead, mm. Care Bears. And um, so the problem here, we talk about this a lot in our videos. I sorry to sorry to sound like a broken record, because but I never know if you're. This is the only video you're gonna see, so I, I repeat myself. Basically, um, you give this to your child, to, or you drink from it yourself. Your hand goes right on the lead to drink it, and you can't avoid that. There's unless you're you know holding it from the bottom or something, and then you go to pick out some chips from the bowl of chips next to you and you lick your fingers or some popcorn or you eat a cookie and you lick your fingers after eating the cookie. And that's the transference, hand to mouth activity, transference of lead, mm -hmm. especially lead that's this incredibly significant high level of lead mm -hmm. and is deteriorating is enough to poison someone, especially if it's used on a regular basis. Avi has a question. Yeah. Well, no, I was just saying, and not to mention if you put it in the dishwasher or something like that. Yeah, and I have, a, I have an article I've written, I'll put it in with the links in the description of this on YouTube. It's my only on the outside article. You can look it up on the website by typing the words only on the outside into the search bar. And basically I get that question all the time. Hey, but this isn't a problem. It's only on the outside. It's not touching the beverage. I'm like, okay, no, because um, it'll wear into your kitchen environment. If you let it just sit there, it's gonna create dust over time because it's deteriorating because it's so old. 1983 is a long time ago already. And, um, and then, uh, It'll also uh, uh, wear if you put it in the dishwasher. Some people say, well, I don't put it in the dishwasher. But then if you're hand washing it, you're gonna get lead particulates on your sponge, which you're gonna get transfer to the next dish. Hopefully you're gonna use detergent and you're gonna wash it off. It's not like it's going to acutely poison you because actually the soap um, helps to remove things, but you do get some uh, spreading around of the lead in that way. There's actually an article on the Department of Health website for the state of California that talks about how putting high lead things in the dishwasher can contaminate the rest of the items in the dishwasher. So that's kind of an interesting piece. Um, and there's also, I assume, if it breaks as well. Yeah. If it, my, actually, it's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. I tell people, if it breaks, don't worry about it because you're gonna clean this up like glass. So you're gonna clean this up mm. really thoroughly. And when I clean up glass, I use a, a wet wipe because I wanna make sure to get all the really tiny shards up and I, and I clean the area multiple times. So, um, you know, usually you're, when you're cleaning up glass, you're gonna be doing it in a way that is sufficient to clean up any lead particles that are distributed with the broken glass. Um, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, so that's a consideration because you don't wanna get a, a glass splinter. No one wants a glass splinter. Mm. Anyway, so uh, learn more at leadsafemama.com. Please follow us on Instagram. We're working on putting an app together, so that's exciting. And if you're following us on Instagram, you might be among the first to find out about that. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out all the other testing videos we have up. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here.